Hi everyone, my name is Ani and welcome back to Photoshop Icebreakers. In this episode, I will show you how to select and highlight text for your product photography. The technique I will show you can be applied to any photo and to any color text. So let's jump right into it. Here I have the final image and the only thing that I haven't retouched are the labels. I've made a selection of them and put them in a group. That way, whatever we do is only going to show up inside of the group. First step. Let's select the color of the test, which is black, and just paint right over that. Now, we want to take the black away from the highlights. So we're going to double click at the empty area here, opening the layer style window. And where it says underlying layer, we're going to take it away from the highlights. So click and drag and that way, it's only going to show up on the text. Click OK. Now, if you have a photo with flat lighting, you might get this right in one shot, but I'm going to repeat the same steps to get all of the text included. I'm going to create a layer mask and with a black brush, delete from the areas that I don't want. So let's repeat the same steps to paint over all of the text. Again, clicking on the empty area, underlying layer and just dragging it away from the highlight. Click OK, create a layer mask to again with a black brush erase from the middle. I'm gonna repeat the same step one more time and show you before and after. Creating an empty layer, painting with the black brush and taking it away from the highlight. At this point, you can go ahead and adjust everything to make sure that you don't have anything that looks like this. So going back to the first layer and just keep adjusting. Remember that white reveals and black conceals. So whenever you paint with a black brush, you're going to erase. Here's the final before and after. You can see the huge difference that this makes. And if it's a bit much, you can always decrease the opacity. Uh, I think I'm gonna decrease it to, let's say, 70%. So here's the before and after. Now you might be wondering why go through all of these steps and not just sharpen. That's so much easier and not time consuming let me show you why. I'm going to duplicate the background layer. Make sure that it's unlocked. Go to filter, other high pass, and set it about to 1.5. Click OK. And change the blending mode to linear light. I'm going to create a layer mask. Command I or Control I to invert and with a white brush, paint over the label. Now this is sharp, it looks sharp, it looks clean, but you can see the difference here. So this is sharp versus where we painted with the black. I'm going to decrease the opacity to about 70% and you can see the before and after with sharpening and to get the full effect I'm going to zoom out and you can really see that sharpening doesn't really make much of a difference but with actually making your text darker it's going to show up more it's going to have more definition and you're not going to get this halo effect that sharpening makes. Another benefit of using this technique is that you can actually change the color of the text. 
So let's say I want to make the text dark blue. I will select dark blue and just pink and there you have it. Here's the final result. Let me show you a before and after. So here's the before and after. Before, after. Sharpening is a great tool to use, but targeting your text specifically guarantees a higher quality outcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see what you create.